Okay, so the, the end goal is to, is to take these, uh, these LCDs, put glue on them, and then, uh, and then drop them in, in these front housings, and then we want to clamp it in place. Um, and so the way, the steps that the robot's going to take to do that, um, first it's going to uh, use this uh, corona treater, which uh, it shoots out ionized air at the end of it, and it's going to uh, treat the surface of this, uh, this is glass reinforced nylon, so it's like really uh, strong, good, good plastic to use for marine electronics, but glue does not stick to it well at all. It kind of has a slippery finish. And so this corona treater blows ionized air on there to break up the polymer chains, and it makes the glue stick really well to the plastic. So the corona treater is going to corona treat the plastic. Once that's done, it's going to, uh, this side of the tool here, the suction cups are going to pick up an LCD, and then uh, they're going to take it over here, um, and we're going to put glue on the LCD. And once there's glue on the LCD, Sort of like making a sandwich, the robot's going to plunk it down there. And then um, once the, the LCD is in place, it's, uh, the robot's going to grab one of these, these uh, fixture plates here, drop it on top, and then it's, the robot's going to go to the tool changer, uh, pick up a screwdriver, and then pick up some of these, um, uh, pick up some of these bolts here, drop them in these holes in the fixture, and uh, and screw this layer of the fixture onto the one that just got glued, apply clamping pressure, and then the, the rod just repeats that over and over and builds up these stacks of fixtures. So let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to purge our uh, glue nozzle here because I've been uh, waiting around a little bit. I want to make sure that there's no dried glue in the end of the nozzle there. Looks pretty clean. And now I'm going to start the robot. Okay, so we're just, uh, first, we're just probing the fixture there to figure out the exact height. Uh, turning on the corona treater. Corona treater is switched on. And now it uh, corona treats the, the, um, Plastic is a very uh, boring process. You know, it, it has to feed at like two millimeters a second, which is why it's really nice to have a robot doing this because you can go and, uh, you know, human doesn't need to be standing here. So I guess we'll, we'll probably fast forward this. Okay, so now the robot's about to pick up an LCD, and then it's going to uh, use these sensors to exactly locate where the LCD is on the platter, and then it's going to put glue on it. So this is, uh, right now, what it just did there was used a, a laser sensor to make sure the platter, the LCD is perfectly level. And now it's using these limit switches to, uh, to locate the edges of the LCD. And that lets us locate it perfectly in the horizontal plane and, and also the rotation in the horizontal plane. It's done. Now uh, we're uh, depositing a, a bead of glue on the LCD. Bead of glue.
And so there we're uh, just pushing the, uh, pushing the, I paused the robot, we're pushing the LCD against that plate to make sure that the vacuum gripper uh, has a seal on it because we're about to flip everything upside down. And this is the first one, so I just want to make sure the bead looks good, and it does. Um, so I'm going to let the robot run some more. And now when the, the LCD is uh, going into the fixture here, we, we bump the edges of the housing to make sure we're putting the LCD in exactly the right spot. Um, there the LCD is in place. And now we're going to switch to a, a mechanical gripper uh, to pick up one of these fixture plates. This uh, tool changer system is called Smart Shift. It's made in Norway. It's a really incredible product. Um, before, before these guys released this, the tool changers were like these complicated pneumatic mechanisms. And these uh, clever Norwegians came up with a totally mechanical system for changing the robot tool. It's much, much simpler. And so now what we're doing is uh, we put these uh, gloves, if you will, on the robot fingers. And we're going to use that to wipe the nozzle. Um, so we're purging a bit of glue. And then, uh, and then we're wiping the tip. And that's just to make sure that it's uh, clean and, uh, and ready to go when we do the, the next housing. We're just doing it now because we happen to have the gripper on the, on the robot. Put those gloves back. Now we're picking up a, a nut driver. So there's a, a magnet um, at the back of that nut driver. And now it's just kind of uh, hunting until it gets the uh, that screw. Um, there, it's, it's picked up the screw. And uh, I'm going to drop it in the, the fixture plate. And then uh, start the screw. Once that one's started, we go and pick up another screw on the other side of the plate. And so this process of going back and forth and tightening them, when it, when it, it probes this surface, uses the robot's force feedback to ex figure out exactly the height of the surface. And then we're trying to get the head of the screw an exact height above the surface. And then that gives us an exact clamping force. So it's just a way of controlling the process, getting the same clamping force on every LCD. And so that's one complete cycle. Um, and now we're, we're back to the beginning. Um, we just alternate back and forth between these fixtures. So we're going to turn the chrono treater on. It's going to um, chrono treat this housing. And then it just keeps on looping until, uh, until we get through all these plates over here. And uh, so this, these stacks will get piled up over here. And then uh, everything stays clamped overnight. In the morning, we come in, take it apart, and we have the, uh, the glued housings. If you have any questions about this or any of the, the stuff we're doing, uh, please uh, post, a, post a comment. I'd love to uh, you know, interact with the audience and uh, answer any questions you have about what we're doing here.